Hi, Jeff Lovett here. I want to welcome you to video number two of my new series on the toughest marketing problems faced by small business owners. I recently sent out a survey to my clients asking them to tell me the one thing that kept them from really doing the kind of marketing they need to do to grow their business. The number one answer was not enough money. And we talked about that in, in last week's video. Today we're going to tackle the second most common answer and that was not enough time. Listen, we are all busy, you and me both. If you don't believe it, just take a look at my desk. This is where I do most of my work, and as you can see, it is stacked high with all kinds of projects, and paperwork, and tasks that I need to accomplish. But no matter how high the stacks of paperwork and projects get, there are certain things that are very important to me, so I put aside tasks and make sure that I do the important things first. And that really is the secret to finding time for marketing. If you really think that it's important to your business, then you'll find time for marketing. I have talked to a lot of people over the years about this and have basically come to a conclusion that when people tell me they don't have time for marketing, what they really mean is, it's not important to me. Hey, that's a valid answer. I, I, who am I to tell you whether you're right or wrong? I do, however, just want to share a couple of quotes and stats with you that might help you realize that marketing your business is worthy of your time. This quote is from Brian Rice. Brian is a well-known blogger who's been a marketing consultant for a few companies that you might have heard of, Walmart, Target, Sam's Club, oh yeah, Chase Bank. Brian says, you may have a great product and stellar customer service, but if people don't know your business exists, you're not gonna have any sales. And that really cuts to the truth of it. If you don't market your business, how will people know who you are, what you do, why they should choose you over your competitors? And here's a statistic from Forbes magazine that's a real eye-opener. Of all the business starts that happen in this country, 80% of them will fail in the first 18 months. And the number one reason they fail is because they don't communicate well with their customers. So I don't have a fancy method for stretching out your day or warping the time-space continuum so you can have more time. Uh, I wish I did, but I will say that if marketing is important to your business, you have to make time for it. And hopefully by watching this video, you've decided that you need to carve out some time to better communicate with your customers. Now, the task is to utilize that time as efficiently as possible. And to do that, you have to plan and prepare. A good military leader just doesn't march into battle without a plan of attack. And you shouldn't just bounce around and try a marketing trick here or there for no apparent rhyme or reason. The first thing to do is to make a plan. And I would suggest that you ask yourself two questions and you write them down. Yes, write down the answers so you can refer back to them whenever you start to plan your strategy. And those two questions are, who are my customers and what is the best way to communicate with them? For the second question, you might just ask your customers, hey, we'd love to send you information about our products, our specials, our sales, and our store. What's the best way for us to reach you? If they say email, then you know that email marketing has to be part of your strategy. If they say Facebook, then social media has to be in there somewhere. Now the next step is just to sit down a few days before the start of each month, and I do suggest that you plan about one month at a time, that's all, so you're not overwhelmed, and so you can make some adjustments along the way. Just sit down with a regular old-fashioned calendar, and you write down a plan. On the first day, you might introduce your focus for the month. Maybe it's sweater month when the weather starts to get cooler, or you might have a month when you focus on, say, maybe why you need RV insurance if you're an insurance agency. Just write what you want to communicate with your customers throughout the coming month and the method that you plan to use to do it by email, Facebook, postcards, on the radio, in the paper. Usually it's a combination of several different methods. And you're all set. Now you have a guide for your marketing efforts for the coming month. With your little marketing calendar, you know exactly what you're going to offer people and how you're going to communicate those offers to them. Now all you have to do is, well, do it. And that's where the plan usually falls apart. Remember what I said earlier, if it's important to you, you'll make time for it. Well, you have to make yourself make time. Carve out some time, about an hour a week, and do all the things you've got listed on your calendar for the next week. There are plenty of tools that can make this easier for you, like Hootsuite, which lets you do all your social media posts for the entire week at once. This program is free. You can write 10 or 20 posts at one time and schedule them throughout the week in just a few minutes. And instead of trying to find a minute here and a minute there to post them throughout the day, you can use Capture, which is a free app from YouTube where you can make videos. Uh, no previous experience is necessary and that posts straight to your YouTube channel. Or if your customers would like you to send them information by email, I would suggest that you use MailChimp. 
And it seems like I talk about that app in just about every video, but there is a reason for that. In my opinion, MailChimp is probably the number one best free tool for communicating with your customers. Now just do the task listed on your marketing calendar each week. No more than a week out. And if you see that it's too much for you, take some things out until you find a marketing strategy that you can stick with. Listen, I don't care what kind of business you're in. Your number one job is marketing because without it, you don't sell anything. So you simply have to make time for it. And to maximize your time, you need to find some tools that'll help you automate and simplify common or repetitive tasks. I've listed a few that are my favorites down below this video with links to find them. All right, so we've talked about the two biggest obstacles to your marketing success, not enough money and not enough time. And in my next video, we're going to tackle the third most common response to my recent survey, and that was, I don't know much about marketing. And believe it or not, that's not really a deal breaker. I don't know how an internal combustion engine works to drive a car, but I can drive a car. You don't have to have a marketing degree from an Ivy League college to communicate with your customers. I've got some more great tips and tricks on what to do if you just don't know what to do in my next video. So I will see you then.